likes waiting on a paycheck, especially when you have bills, too. Good thing there's Chime. Now you can get your paycheck up to two days early with direct deposit. I have a bank account that my grandma set up for me because I'm a little girl. That's up to two more days to save, pay bills, and just feel good about your money situation. Um, um, my mom gave me some money to put in my piggy bank that I put in the real bank because I'm a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Chime is more about getting paid early. It's an award-winning mobile app, checking account, debit card, and optional savings account. I like having the mobile app because sometimes I have to call my mom to pick me up from baseball practice because I'm a little girl. So what are you waiting for? Hopefully not your paycheck. Tee Get started with Chime today. Applying for a free account takes less than two minutes. Get started at Chime.com slash bald. That's Chime.com slash bald. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Banker Stride Bank NA members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. There are so many ways that you can take care of your mind. Think of this. You have one brain and that's all you got. So imagine if you had one car for your whole life. What are you going to do? Are you going to poop on that car? Are you going to um, ride it till the wheels fall off? No, you're going to take care of it. So why don't you do that to your brain? The way that we care for our minds affects how we experience life deeply. So it's important to invest time and care into keeping your brain healthy. BetterHelp Online Therapy is a wonderful way to keep that ball rolling. BetterHelp is an online therapy service that offers video, phone, and even live chat-only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. I find that therapy is an indispensable tool to living lovely and large in this world. And, um, you know, uh, it can be very scary and also very inconvenient. Um, if, especially people with social anxiety, girl meeting therapists and I I would, it's just, it's a really wonderful uh, option to, um, not have to go into any weird waiting rooms. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash bald. That's better H E L P.com slash bald. Girl, girl, <laughs> what? lady, what? we are in America, hunty. <laughs> USA. Girl, mama. no offense to everywhere in the world, but after 35 days, I was in the immigration line. I've never been so enthusiastic about the States in my life. I was literally uh, the, the, the um, customs people. I was like, you S.A. Uh-huh. All the way. I was like lunatic. You're like, what are lunatic. you doing in town? You're like, you. I, I was that person from the Capitol. Yeah. With the, the, the horns the yes. and the face paint, the Braveheart yeah. guy. Yeah. Girl, we got to talk. We have to talk about Kevin. Watchmen. Uh, oh, have you finished it? Mary. It's perfect. Right. Worked my pussy. <laughs> uh, this was my pussy. This yeah. was Watchmen. Uh, uh, it, uh, uh. Yeah. Like she slap. got you together. Girl, she got you together. When we talk about storytelling, when mm-hmm. we talk about acting, yes. when we talk about allegory, when we talk about current events, giving an opp- opportunity to look in the mirror as a yeah. human species. Yeah, uh, uh, we talk about critique of society. When we talk about a show that is not afraid to tell the viewer that considering the sins of your people, your history is dismissive and it's mm-hmm. all, everything that's ever happened that's violent and bad is still now. Yeah, right. Inheriting trauma. Trauma. Girl, <laughs> it was already good. And like, here's the thing. First episode, <laughs> I was like, where are the superheroes? Right. Yes. I didn't, I'd never seen a Watchman. I didn't know that these people don't have superheroes. <laughs> no, they're not superheroes. I didn't know that they weren't. No. I, I didn't know they were just masked, masked vigilantes. Masked vigilantes, yes. Dry queens are masked vigilantes. Well, I wish most of them would wear masks because <laughs> they're very ugly. <laughs> And they usually are the ones who need to be crime fought. Dogs with capes who need to save themselves. Superman would beat the shit out of a drag queen. I don't think Superman would even bother. Yeah. I think he'd be like, oh, that poor thing. I'll just leave her her alone. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. When I, girl, my jaw, my jaw, spoilers. Oh, oh yeah, sure. When Dr. Manhattan entered the chat, my jaw. (laughs) Where'd it go? Where'd it go? The jaw. The floor, bitch. It was like, 
the scene in the in where the, Regina King Vietnam. pulls out his little thing yeah. and she starts glowing blue and you realize <laughs> he was Dr. Manhattan the whole time. this whole time. I know when she says, I'm sorry, John, and hacks that thing right out of his forehead. You're like, what in the world is going on here? Girl, when he was like, my name's not John. And she's like, girl, yes, it is. It's like, I'm gonna let you know who you really are. Bop, bop, they, bop. Uh, the giant blue dildo. Gene Smart. Gene Smart with the giant <sighs> blue dildo. She is... <laughs> Work, bitch. I know in the in the balls too. Those big old big balls. I don't know where those were going. Maybe up the butt. I don't know. Oh, so are we? T- but, but we've all seen Doctor Manhattan naked. It wasn't yeah. that big. Uh, no, 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 no. So it, previously it was. So this new little guy. This is a new thing. A new but he story used to line. be Mister Mister. Yeah, big Mister Big, and just like that, glowing blue. Yeah, big also blue bald dong. representation. Hello and gorgeous, sexy. How about the that Senator Keen? Is- Senator Keen, who took off his head, little panties at the at the end was liquefied. I would root around girl. in his rummage sale. Girl. Yeah. Girl. Racist when she goes, and all, those panties you know? are ridiculous. Yeah. I, I thought he was gonna get Dr. Manhattan's powers. Oh no. And when I that, love that he was just squirt, squirt, when, when Miss True comes through and goes, Oh, radioactive, <laughs> it'll melt you every time. I mean, I don't know what he was. She was so fierce. I was a little, I would, you know. Let's discuss bowl cuts. Cheek bowl cuts. MIT. Um, when she's giving that speech, you said, when I was 15, I graduated from MIT. Yeah. Four years later, I bought it. <laughs> yes. Work, bitch. It's so fierce. Excellence. And Excellence. then I watched, I finished it, and then I watched The Watchmen. I, I, listen. The movie? I ate so much wheat <laughs> and finished The Watchmen series like this. <laughs> so I was half hearing it, drifting in and out of, I myself was living like Dr. Manhattan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing was past, present, and future. Yes. It was all together. All together. Everything I watched the film of, of Dr. Um, the Dr. Watchmen, Watchmen film. Yeah. Do you like it? I didn't love it. I mean, the series was it's superb. Superb. The opening credits of the movie, though, all these snapshots of like through history of these superheroes being excited, the universe loves them, and then mm, yeah, it's flop, cr- their flop, flop era. Tina. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's good to go beat people up based on what you think justice is. Well, um, I think that's what the show did a good job talking about. Yeah. Vigi- I mean, police are rotten, you know, police, police. are rotten police and the policemen covering their faces. I know because of police being target. I mean, yeah. A show that wasn't afraid to make a villain white supremacy. How about the chair? Um, the Mary Kay place in the chair uh, with Gene Smart. Mary Kay Letourneau? No, no, no. Um, uh, Don Johnson's wife. Do you know what I'm talking about? The chair. Oh. The trap door chair. Do you know who Love she was? It. Who? Rose's mom from Titanic. Yes, yes. Was that Mary Kay place? I feel like her name is. Letourneau. It's not Mary Who's Kay Mary Kay Letourneau? The, 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 the woman who had sex with her student. I went to oh. jail. Yeah, it's not her. It's not, I checked into it's it. It's not her. It's not her. I'm going to look it up. Um, the people have a right to know. They have a right to know. I loved her so much. Um, but that, that series worked me out. Everybody at Watchmen, I know that I'm Mary about two years not behind, three years behind. Yeah. Well, whatever. I remember the billboards in LA and I remember being like, whatever, another superhero thing. Yeah. Girl. Here's the, here's the wonderful thing about TV shows that especially ones that had no enough to pull back and restrain themselves from creating flop seasons. You'll be there forever. Mary. Watch it. Catch it anytime. The the episode, maybe it's the last one where it's all these timelines overlapping mm-hmm. the way he experiences time. Like mm-hmm. he's on his first date with yeah. her. Mm-hmm. He's like, oh, we're only going to last 10 years and then we're going to break up. And then yeah. could you date somebody who knew everything? Absolutely. Uh, get a big I old want blue Dr. Dick like that. To fuck me. <laughs> but I think everybody does. <laughs> I want uh, yeah. a man who absolutely knows the T. He knows the T. He's got that David glow. can't change a tire. <laughs> and Dr. Manhattan can yeah. see the future. And also he can what? Just boop, 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 boop. David, if you're watching this, you need to put yourself in a radioactive whatever and blow yeah. yourself up. Do yourself a favor. Catch some radioactive vibes and go to Mars or what, what have you. And come over and lay me out with that big blue glowing big dick. blue dong. That actor was so fucking gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How about when he strolled up in a little Adrian's um, little Antarctic lair with um, no panties on? And I said, oop, let me just rewind that. Oop, let me just rewind that again. Adrian. Oh, Jeremy Irons. So good. 
He should have won an. He should have won an Emmy. The original Hooded Justice painting himself white because yeah. the only way somebody could accept masked vigilantism is if they thought it was a white person. Yeah, racist Girl. tea. The racist tea was scalding hot. Critiques. Yeah, it's good. It's really, really good. I, I don't loved- consider myself somebody who harbors racism, but when a show like that can even further deepen your empathy, when you consider yourself already a, a very empathetic person. Sure, sure. Unbelievable. Fucking, mm. I'm taking all that. Would you take your grandpa's nostalgia? I don't think so. I don't think my so. My grandpa was a plumber. It would have been a yeah. lot of flashbacks pharmacist. to just feces. Yeah, pharmacist like, can I have my prescription? Yeah, not interesting. Um, what about, what about, um, oh, I loved, um, uh, I love Lady True. I was, I, I guess it was a good, like, kind of, I mean, it made sense that she wrapped up like an egomaniac, you know, that she was just going to be like a, an out of control <laughs> lunatic. Well, it was, she was like her dad, right? Anybody that's smart is going to be like self-serving yeah. and they're going to believe that their way is the best way. Yeah. So, so fierce though. I just love, I love how smart and how amazing she was. And I love her It makes you want to be smart. Is it too late? I think it's way too late. <laughs> yeah. On one hand, I wanted more people to have powers. On the other hand, it was a little like Batman where I'm like, oh, these people who just are exceptionally smart or exceptionally strong. It's kind of more exciting when these superheroes are just human beings. And also when you have one who's like, ba 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 bow girl, you know that they all go to bed mad that they're not Dr. Manhattan. Oh yeah. Oh Yeah. Dr. Manhattan, I would be like- Oh, so it's more like a realistic Superman. Like if you can do anything, if you are the superhuman being, Mm -hmm. you are a God. Yeah. You are God. Absolutely. Yeah. You are God and you should say it. Girl, the idea that Dr. Manhattan just went to Vietnam and just fried a bunch of people. Oh, that's girl. What, that, the alternative timeline was so fascinating. Robert Redford as the president. Mary Nixon in his fifth term. Oh, wow. Yeah. The so alternative I history that. was I love fierce. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, re, the red for rations or whatever. Yeah. Girl. Mm-hmm. It's fascinating. It's really cool. I like that. Like, I really like that kind of um, setup because it, it like grounds the place in something real, but also something fantastic. I love to discover a show long after other everyone cared about it. No, people still care about it. They do. Yeah, because okay. it's, it's a perfect show. It's a perfect series. I, you, you know that Miss Regina walked away from that gig like, well, well I shitted on y'all. Good luck so. ever making anything ever again. <laughs> yeah. She let them know. Yeah, Jean Smart in that phone booth. Tears. The, Tears. So she's telling the joke about what happened to all the people. Yeah. I also, I wish I would have seen the movie first. Why? Because the movie... Is all of those characters younger? Oh, right, right, right. Oh, what's her name? Um, that hot bitch as Silk Spectre. Yes. The, the, I was the, like, why is Ozymandias in this like prison situation? Because he's going to drop the squid. Adrian Veidt. Didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. Oh, you didn't. But they explained that. Kind of, but I would have loved to see the film. Okay. And I don't it. remember them dropping that squid in the movie. Or but. like the Gene Smart character. They reference her having been a masked vigilante. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know who she was. Yeah. She's so fierce. Fierce. So fucking fierce. I want that woman. What do you want her to do? I want her to have all the good feelings possible in this lifetime. I think Don't get it, too passionate. She, she, she's so good in hacks. Um, Eden and I are actually trying to write a screenplay version of, it's called Have a Great Summer, Hags, where it, um, it, it involves uh, basically like hacks, except it's me and her, a drag queen who's like 40 uh-huh. and gay on the road with a young so it's assistant. More gritty. It's like a crime. <laughs> it's more of a true crime. It's more like, yeah, it's like- um, Waiting to happen. <laughs> yes. It's the story of a murder suit. It's the act. <laughs> no, no, no. But we have all these fun things. I think it'd be funny if like, there's all these little comedic hiccups. You know, when something in comedy, when something goes wrong and it's funny. Hmm. <laughs> I've never had anything go wrong. <laughs> but I think it'd be funny if like, there was a famous carjacker that um, Eden looked like exactly alike. And every time she was about to get laid or everybody, she was about to do something, she gets like tackled by the FBI. Or every time you know she mean? goes to like get in her own car. Yeah. They're like, she's doing it again. Yeah, yeah, totally. Like, the, you know, she's always on the, the, the gas station TVs and stuff, wanted. Deadly crime. carjacker, yeah. Would you ever do crime? I have done and I will continue to do <laughs> crime, yes. I think the crime I just is think lovely. It's inter- <laughs> I just think it's interesting that People do crime and think they won't get caught. However, so many people don't. But get here's caught. the thing: all these people up top, they're doing crimes every day, all the time. Crimes of the future. <laughs> totally. They're doing crimes of the future. They're tattooing their organs. Okay. No, that's they, the thing. That's crime up there. Not paying your taxes. That's crime. Guess what? They get. They don't go to jail. Nothing happens. People should pay their taxes, and you know what else? Rich people should pay more. Oh, 
You not take just the that same back. A, you not just the same back. amount. Fucking more. Yeah, a lot. Fucking more. There should be a maximum wealth. Don't you think? You and I make more money than a lot of people. I if make they, $15 an hour. <laughs> if they said, because you make this, we need to charge you more. If you make a million dollars a year. Yeah. You should, how much do you think you should give away? Twice taxes. as much as normal people, at least. Yes. But here I'm going to say, please, on that note, let's have some social services available. Well, that's what I'm saying. That extra tax money, rich should pay more and yeah. that should go to things like- I don't um, know, hospitals, yes. not businesses. Not Hosp just the government to use yeah. as, they as they choose, because then it could yeah. go to military. But it, it should go does. to like- yeah. You know, the military budget is so wild. 15 bucks. <laughs> 17, I think it went Whoa. up to 17. No, it's almost a trillion dollars. And they, um, Democ that's the one thing Democrats and Republicans agree on. And nobody talks about fund the military. I don't agree on it. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the Democrats and the Republicans in office. It's so complicated. They've though. always, what are you always supposed agreed to, on it. What are you supposed to do when like Russia's actively taking over other countries and acting foolish? Are mm -hmm. we supposed to just not be prepared for adversity in the future? I don't, I'm not supporting the military, but I'm yeah. saying like, I get what these people are saying we need defense. Well, it's, it's a very, it's a very simple and seductive in argument. Like yeah. we don't though. We don't, we don't, we it's don't like need people all think that. They need a gun because for what? We don't need all that. We don't fight at wars. Also, we don't fight wars here. We like computer game them in other places. You know, yeah. it's crazy. Don't come here. Mom, I'm going to move to New my Zealand. Block. I'm going to move to New Zealand. I think it was beautiful. New Zealand was, I'm going to say this Hobart. I was like, I could stay here. Well, we also had very good hotel rooms. I wanted to live in that hotel room. It was spacious. Lovely. I wanted to live. I took three baths. I think we're there for about 14 hours. I had sex <laughs> with a personal trainer and then he asked me to take a picture afterward. So that was the last. That's, that's oh, a picture of you? Of us together. Oh, like because a selfie. he was a fan. I didn't know he was. I don't know. Wait, 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 sex is canceled. What do you mean you don't know? I don't he, know if he was a fan. He just wanted to take a picture as a memento? Well, when you're famous for something, but you don't live in LA, sometimes people just want a picture of someone they think is famous. Okay. So that's when sex was canceled. Sex has been canceled. Sex is, sex is actually canceled. Oh, sex girl. with my boyfriend is great, but Why, sex is, in general is canceled. Yeah. Sex on the road is canceled or is tired. Sex with your boyfriend is wired. Well, Dave and I have been seeing each other so little that when we do see each other, we absolutely have sex because yeah. it's always been like a month. Yeah. And then it's like, that's great. So uh, what is, help me understand this like thing where people know who we are. Girl. Is, and they don't say it. I, and I, well, how in depth do you want to go? Because you and I recently experienced a very, no, not let, let's not talk about chilling that, no. situation. No. The thing is, if you're going to have sex with somebody from the television, it's just like knowing where they work and just think of it that way. Okay. What do you Don't mean by the, that? What do you mean by if that? If you worked at Staples. Yeah. I might ask you a couple questions about it. I oh. might relate, relate to it later. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to fuck you because you work at Staples. Right, right, and right. And I'm not right, going right. to constantly talk about Staples. I mean, right. You're Unless like, you can give wow, me free Staples. Staple guns and then hole punches and then computer paper, computers. Ask about people I work supplies. with at Staples. What do they like? You know, yeah. it's like. And then you see them a few weeks later <gasps> hanging out with one of your coworkers from Staples. Girl, or let's say you love Staples. And by the way, great. Great Staples plug. Let's say you love Staples, love Staples and you know all the other employees of Staples yeah. and you're romantic with them too, but you don't say anything. You don't say anything. That's you, weird. It's weird. It's weird that you have these little homemade baseball cards of the Staples employees that you don't show anybody, but they sure do factor in, in your little boudoir. Yeah. Just be a person. I don't know. Well, anyways, so the- Hook up with straight guys is the only safe thing. It's the only safe thing. I hooked up with a guy who, well, no, <laughs> I hooked up with a guy who did not know who I was. I think, but after eventually well, that's understandable. I haven't really been in much. I mean, a couple little, you know, for a, a couple little forays into reality television, nary a career make. <laughs> nary. Well, you are a giant flop. <laughs> Hamburger nary. <laughs> Hamburger nary. Hamburger nary. So he didn't, but is he gay? Uh, no, he was, yes, he was gay. Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh, identifying right, right, as right, gay. Right, 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 right. Yeah. He was a gay man. Gay if, you have a straight, if you fuck guys, but you have a straight life, I could see how they might not know. Absolutely. No, he was gay, gay, very gay. Um, no, and then I think he said he was from Argentina, um, but he lived in New Zealand. And he said, um, ooh, celeb. He said, like, he said, celeb. 
celeb. He's like, so I was a celeb. Like he knew I was famous, but I, I think now he knows who I am. Celeb. The French word for star, right? Yeah, but it's also like celebrity. I'm just. That's what I mean. The celebrity of the word. Yeah, yeah. The celeb. Root, celeb. Famous. I think stars vedette. Do you remember that word in French? Vedette? La vedette? No. Right. <laughs> Once in a while, I'll remember a word that I'm like, you will never use that. Why did you remember that? But then I'll Girl. forget things like proper noun. Yeah. Like he, like, they. <laughs> or how to use like the future version of this verb. Okay. I'm like, that's useful. Yes. Why do I remember the word for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that. Do you keep much of it? Is your French, is it in there? Is it in it's there? It's in there well enough. If you drop me in the airport or in France, I'd be just fine. Yeah. Not just- like, you would be like, wow, this person's American and they took eight years of French. You okay. wouldn't be like, Girl, oh my. do you live here? Yeah. Are you an associate adjunct professor at the Sorbonne? <laughs> yeah. I probably talk like, I guess in the States, I always think if somebody in film or television, when somebody English is in their first language, mm. they might make the character use some verbs incorrectly. Yes, yeah, sure. That would be me. Yeah, you're you Emily in get, Paris. You're Emily in Paris. I'm Emily in Paris. <laughs> Remember that shit? <laughs> We got some good stuff coming up at Netflix that we get to watch. Oh, the circle or the square or, this, or the, 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 the... We have to go on the circle. I think we should. If you think we should go on the circle, comment below. Let's comment take a below, break. Comment below, please. Oh, yeah. Comment below. Going online without ExpressVPN is like changing while leaving your window wide open. Listen, you're not ashamed of your breasts or your p- or your ass. Why give random creeps a chance to ogle them? No, you need a VPN and I'll tell you why. Internet service providers can see every single website you visit. Fruitbarn.com, the dark web, you know, um, visiting, um, you know, places that are a little bit untoward and that could be a problem if discovered. When you use ExpressVPN, ISPs cannot see your online activity. Your identity is anonymous via a secure VPN server. Your data is also encrypted for maximum protection. You just fire up that app, click one button, and bam, your breasts, your butt, and your pussy covered up. I love to visit websites that are a little bit embarrassing. I do it frequently, every day, in fact. And I always make sure to use that ExpressVPN because it's just, I'm going to run for the Senate one day, and I just don't want this coming out as a scandal. Secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash bald today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash bald. And you can get an extra three months free. Expressvpn.com slash bald. Shopping for new clothes can be stressful. Okay. I have I have no car. Okay. Getting to the mall, getting things and getting home, even calling car services, it's stressful. And I don't know what I like. I'm constantly going through a fashion journey that is apparently never really landing anywhere good, but I'm always looking for things that I'll like. And a lot of times having somebody pick things out for me, it just works for me. Shopping for new clothes can be so stressful. So let Stitch Fix do all the work for you so you can spend more time doing the things you love. When it comes to looking good, Stitch Fix has you covered. It's easy and fun to get started. First, you just take a few minutes to set up your Stitch Fix style profile, answer a few questions, what you like to wear, what you don't, and how open you are to trying new styles. Everything down to the type of pants you want, like down to the fabrics, the cut, like everything is customizable so that you're not going to get mailed things that don't fit you at all. Then Stitch Fix is expert style. So go to work finding things perfect for you. Every piece is handpicked for you, unique to your size, style, your budget, making it easy to discover clothes that make you feel great. For me, I went the opposite with Stitch Fix. I picked out things that I wouldn't shop for myself so that I was constantly getting sent things that were like new. Otherwise, I'm so boring. I'll just say yes to the most boring thing you send me. So I try to be more daring. Plus, there's no subscription required. Try once or set up automatic deliveries. There's no hidden fees. It's fierce. I've gone on tour where I can pause Stitch Fix and then just have it deliver when I get home so that things aren't just sitting there. One of the other best parts is you try on pieces at home and whatever you don't like, it's a prepaid envelope. You just put the clothes back in there and it's gone. Sign up today at stitchfix.com slash bald to get $20 off your first purchase. That's stitchfix.com slash bald for $20 off your first purchase. Limited time offer. Purchase within two days of sign up. The circle. The circle. Um, well, Mel B, I believe they teased that Mel B and Emma Bunton, Emma Bunton are a team. We got to do that. We pretend to be a big, hot-titted or, blonde or like a, um, a, a diesel dagger uh, works for the UN. Um, brown teeth. Nobody's going to believe that somebody who works at the UN is on the circle. Curveball. Curveball. A spy from Africa. 
maybe we inflate. Like our character works at the Red Rainforest Cafe. Okay. But she's like, oh, I, I, I work at Rainforests. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, um, 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 in um, the, I work in the environment or like she sells bracelets on Etsy and she's like, I have a business. Yeah. Oh, how about this though? I just, you, speaking of that, a lot of people being, in, uh, calling themselves entrepreneurs. Entrepreneur. And what are you entrepreneuring? Mary. You thinking about building a website one day? That does not make you a CEO. Okay. Do you know what I mean? This is the that's happening on online, on social media, on small, dating apps, small business. Yeah. You got, there's a few questions you got to ask, especially in the LA area about small businesses. <sighs> do you have rich parents? Yeah. Do you sure. actually pay your rent? Yeah. Do yeah. you actually pay your rent? Have you got a healthy stipend from, somebody, a, from a girl, wealthy benefactor? Somebody recently was talking about, I met some, I met somebody who was talking about their programs. They do, uh, at a camp like for adults to go to. Okay. And they were talking about like, you know, it, it, it was like, oh, they go to this camp and they, through these days, they do these work, these exercises that are like, you know, help them. He I'm like, I'm going to stop you right there. Is this therapy? It's giving goop. It's giving oh, it's- unlicensed <sighs> therapy goop. It's nine perfect strangers. And I just, I don't want to say if your business isn't making money, it's not a real business. Cause let's say you do handicrafts and sell them on Etsy. That is a business. But for you to say, I'm an entrepreneur, like, yeah. So get, get up and grind. Girl, that's Girl, Grind what? And I'm, you know. Grind what up? And people also perceive small businesses like as exactly one size. Small business can mean anything from. Yeah, huge. For, for, uh, uh, if you clean houses on the weekends, you're a small business, a one person business. Technically, I mean. Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. Scaled all the way up to like, unless you're Kmart or some shit. Right. Unless you're a corporation, you are a small business. As a small, how would you define a small business? Is it just having, being one location? I don't know. I don't know how you define it. Yeah. She bought a size 14. Yeah. She bought a size 14. Mm. By the way, we're in my, my new backyard. I haven't moved yet. We're just here. There's nothing in the house. I, I saw, came to make sure I, no one was living out here. I took the tour and I'm going to tell you all at home without revealing any details. It is absolutely a bop. Bop or flop this house. It's a bop. It is. Um, yeah. We have a lot of like furniture buying. Yeah. Yeah. A lot like, of stuff to do, but you know what stuff though? To do. Look on the bright side. There are lots of little hidey holes for naked um, old people to, you know, to just stand in. I'm telling you when the lights go down, the naked oldies are coming out right. Boom. Right there by the bamboo. Boom. Right in front of that. Um, what do you think about a TV over there? I think naked TV old to people. Watch pool. <laughs> I Girl, think that would be chic. That yeah. is the scariest part of hereditary. Naked smiling <sighs> people in the dark. Oh, naked smileys in the dark. <laughs> Cause what are they smiling about? Payman. Oh, that's They're happy right. about payment. The devil come back to, yeah. Are you wearing a new cologne? I am. Yeah. I Steven it got it. Good. Steven got it for me. Yeah. What is it? Um, it's called, uh, I don't remember. Oh, a diptych. Diptych. Oh yes. I know what you're talking about. Diptych. Dip your dick. Dip your, dip your dick in. <laughs> In a turd. In some teak. <laughs> Girl, should we, do you want to recap the tour? Yes, I do. Highlights, go. Oh, um, Hobart. Hobart. I thought it was beautiful. Yeah. Um, and the people there were like, yeah, nobody, nobody wants to come here, but when they do, they're like amazed by it. Yeah. So Hobart is lit. Honestly, most of the, the bigger cities I could take or leave, I don't care. Okay. I thought Christchurch was really pretty. Christchurch was the sleeper hit of the tour for me. The shopping in Sydney was turnt. We were oh staying god, right downtown, shopping. right by the shopping. It was, oh my it was god, turnt. it was tur- that West. What was it? Um, the West shopping Field. center, Turntina not, Aguilera. Not to be sheltered, I thought Westfield was just the small in Beverly Hills. I didn't realize it was a chain. No, I didn't either. But the Westfield Mall, which they do not say the word mall, but yeah, it was so. The shopping was fucking great. I told you when I went into Tiffany's, Tiffany like breakfast to Tiffany's, the sales um, guy he recognized me, and then he recoiled in terror, and then crouched on the floor. That's service. I was like, he was like, oh, I screamed. And then I was like, oh, like going to, you know, going for a hug or something. He recoiled in terror and then crouched on the floor. And I was We're like famous to some people. And I guess terrifying to others. Girl, that's the thing. It's we're, we're, fa- we're famous to not most people, but the one person falls out. Yeah. He fell they, out. They fall he out. Fell out. Um, I'll never forget that all of those kinds of like public interactions are really tickle me these days. They've been pretty normal or they've been pretty manageable. But when I was in Manchester a few years, three years ago, a girl saw me from, and she was in a store. I was on the street. She saw me. 
She bolted out, screaming at the top of her lungs, and then grabbed my neck and screamed into my face. Girl, did I tell you about the person who chased me with dogs? What? Dogs? When we were in Boise, I was running the belt line, the green line or whatever. Uh-huh. And somebody dogs? with two giant, like Marmaduke giant dogs no, was no, walking. No. And she started chasing me. I had my headphones in. And I saw behind me two dogs chasing. And then when she finally caught me, she's like, ah, I was chasing you. <laughs> And I said, yeah, I, I was running. Yeah, I running away. I was running. Damn, I was chasing. It was like, I've been meaning to kill you. I know, like, I ran. I don't like that. No, I, um, like I had that. a really, this. I'm not going to lie, not to sound ungrateful. This was all, the dates of this tour were really close together. The travel was arduous. Yeah. It was, it was really hard. There was some venues with not enough air conditioning. Yeah. It was hard tour. One of the hardest tours of my life. Yeah, it was, in the beginning, there was a, a perfect storm of, uh, too much heat and like hip pain and just like general malaise that I cried when I came off stage once. Cried. I feel you. Yeah. But then I don't know, you know, I think it takes, I think the lesson is that it takes 50 shows to figure out if there can be air conditioning. I think you have to do 50 shows to be sure. And then I think around that 49, 40, 50th show, I think they let you have it. I think it's maybe a rite of passage. You can't not have air conditioning. Oh, I don't I know. I don't understand. Like, what are it. we talking about? I feel like it's, uh, I feel this like it's the, the simplest. This house is in the 1880s. Yeah. The essential air is fierce. Yeah, yeah. Don't Colonial. tell me your venue doesn't have air conditioning. No. But also if it does, why are we here? Thank you. I was like, there's only like two things you need to know about me. And I actually only can remember one. It's I sweat a lot. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know anything. There's nothing else you need to know. Like, oh no, smoking and sweating. I smoke and I sweat. So like, that's it. So find me a little place to smoke and make sure it's not so hot. Is that it? That's the rider. That's the whole thing. Did you love having Wimberley on your tour? I loved it. I thought it was the most, um, so I brought my personal trainer. I bristle, I bristle as I say those words out loud. It's just so like, oh girl, you know what I mean? Girl, as long you use your own money. And yeah, I, yeah, was I like, did. I did. Yeah. Good for her. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I've never, I've never come back from a tour like healthier than I was when I left and I did this time and it was, I, I loved it. It improved the quality of life a million percent. Well, it sounds fancy, like whatever, but when you tour all year, there are some things you have to splurge on because you're never home. No. And I don't have the motivation. He, he whipped my ass. He whipped the, your he ass. He whipped my ass. You yeah. are in fabulous shape. Yeah. Look at the, look at look, this. the gun. You guys look at the arm. Look at the arm. That's I wish fucking they, crazy. I wish they could feel the titties too. But yeah, no, I, I just was great. It felt great. It was wonderful. And then I could have sex. Um, With and, Wimberly. Yes. We, we had many times. Lesbian sexual, sex. Yeah, yeah. We bumped our <laughs> pussies together. No, I could hook up with guys and feel like, oh, you know, if maybe it's not Mr. Burns today. Maybe it's his younger brother. It's not, you know, it's not Dr. Manhattan. No, it's no. It's not Mr. Burns. It's not Mr. Burns. It's somewhere I, in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. Like, um, professor, professor Newark. Or something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, tell them about when Wimberly had to join the show. <gasps> oh my God. So <laughs> one of our dancers, um, is an accident prone, let's say not his fault, um, but was denied entry into New Zealand. And so New Zealand does not <sighs> accept passports that are even remotely frayed. Was that what it was? That's yes, what it they was. They said his passport wasn't in good enough condition. Okay. So that we had to, we had to reconfigure the show for three people, which we've done before. Yeah. Wimberlina. Wimberlina is a, is a dancer. She's, you know, a veteran of the cheetah. And, um, she stepped in and uh, she learned the dance in uh, two hours and then did it that night. And it was great. Like there was a couple of mistakes, but it was fabulous. It's and also then, funny that like, I mean, our dancers are stunning. Yeah. It's fierce to have Wimberly take his clothes off in front of professional yeah. dancers and you go, Oh, right. Wimberly is a statue. Oh, he is like, Wimberly is like, there's no body fat. Body there's fat. no body fat. He's so like, he's so cut and he's and so packed. Yeah, yeah. And he's smaller now than he was like, because of the ballet. <laughs> he is, I was like, what is Mary? What is your body fat percentage? She's like, I don't know. Probably nothing. Cause it doesn't look like anything. He was it's great. Amazing. And also he, he really like, he, um, he performed. Yes. He performed. I was like, he made me look like a lazy bitch. Cause he was like, Whenever he was like the transition from left to right, he was like gliding and swaying and like, you also, know. Also, so Wimber to be like, I think I know it. I'm not sure. Hey, <laughs> sexy. Yeah, like, totally. perfect. I know. Better than all of us. Who, it yeah. was so fierce. I think it took me about 14 weeks of performing it to get it right. And he just, well, you know, 
It's great. It's wonderful. We had some really nice hotels on this trip though. Mama, the Four Seasons and or no, the, the Ritz Carlton in Little Perth. That There's was Tarantino. Really nice hotels. That was I told Tarantino. David, you stopped traveling with me at the wrong time. I know. This shit just got fierce. I know. The five star luxury thing is really, really the great. The tubs. Yeah. The tubs. The, the living the, rooms. The little spa with the, the bubble bed. The bubble bed in the spa. Yes. Hotels with living rooms. That I don't care for. I do. You do? Because I don't like that nasty furniture. Do I just mean like it's hard to do my stuff that's not my bed. Okay, T, I don't do any stuff. Okay, I don't you, work you just get in the bed. <laughs> I don't do any See, work. I don't like to relax in bed. I want to sit on a couch and then bed is sleep. Yes. Wait, wait. Like I'm never going to lay in bed and watch a movie or like lay in bed oh, and I see, play I on my see, phone or lay in bed and work on my computer. That's a great habit. Sleep well. But I also take the phone to bed, so. You do? Stop yeah. doing that. Well, what's going to happen if I do, if I stop? Um, you'll, you'll. What do you know? Grow do hair. It? You'll grow hair. I don't know. I no, it'll like, it, it will improve your quality of life. Well, I started wearing SPF 70. I walk around. My skin is literally blue. <laughs> so I am trying to take care of myself. Well, there you go. I ran today. Oh, okay. I'm not a kid. Oh, Jesus miles. Christ. Okay. All right. So all right. All right. Here. Mary it is so, it is humid. I forgot. We were in the winter in Australia. The running yeah. was fierce. Yeah. I was wearing layers. Layers. Here, running today. I thought I was going to throw up. Yeah. It's gross. The air is thick. It's also, juicy. I ate so much weed last night. I was like borderline nauseous this morning. With edibles? Trying to run. edibles. Edibles, bitch. And then I ordered Taco Bell. I love Taco Bell. Oh, I do. I think I do too, actually. I think, which that? A helicopter. flying microwave? Yeah. Um, Did you see that, the, the blimp in the sky today that says Shark Week? There's a blimp over Hollywood today that says Shark Week. There's a blimp that says Shark Week. <laughs> Why? To promote Shark Week. <laughs> Shouldn't they do it on a boat or something? It's funny living in LA because we experience the most absurd stunts for PR. Oh yeah. Remember in Justin Bieber, like a, a toe to sign that was something cryptic. Do you remember when it came out and they built the it Nebolt house in Hollywood and there was just a kid out there in a yellow raincoat with balloons and a big haunted house in Hollywood. I hope he got a day, like a good day rate or something. I'm sure he did. Yeah. Remember when you had the child on set? Oh yeah. A million dollars. Yeah, I'm in debt now. You know what I like in Doctor Sleep when they kill that kid? <sighs> kid acting. That kid was sucking, doing fierce acting. It, it was a great acting. And also sucking the pain out. Sucking the pain. And the terror. The terror. We had a doctor come to the Sydney show. And I'm not talking about vanity. <laughs> She's my spiritual doctor. Yeah, this was an actual MD. Oh, the Greek uh, sassy. Sassy. Sassy doctor. Sassy doctor. Um, He was so helpful. I think I need a hip replacement, by the way. Are you going to um, get a hip replacement? Yeah, after the tour. I think I'll get the whole leg taken. That's going to suck. No, I, you, you go in. It's a bip, bippity boppity boot. You're out in 30 minutes and you're-, you're That is not true. I know. But How, it's it's a lot better than outpatient? it used to be. Yeah, they come to your house. No, um, they don't. <laughs> I mean, do you get to go home the next day? You get to go home that day. No, you don't. I, you do. You my do. mom got her knee done and said she will- Knee is different. She said she won't do the other because it was the most painful experience of her life. Knee is different. Knee is different. Hinge joint. Hinge joint. Yeah. He, I, the knee is a tougher recovery. Yeah. Because I think it takes a lot of weight, you know? You know what I learned after this tour too? What? I know we talk about this all the time, but we got to work less. Mostly I, me, but like, Mary, I love every time we got to spend more time. No, I got to spend more time with my family. I got to spend more time with my boyfriend. I got to spend more time with my friends. Yeah. I need, need to, to get some less. friends and then spend some time with them. Yeah. We have somebody from the tours not coming back. And they told me privately at the airport. Yeah. They said, it's cause you're not every tour you have to go on or show you do or anything has to be because of the money. Like you can go do things knowing that it's not great money, but just make sure that you enjoy it. I mean, I don't do it for the money. I do it for the garlic bread. <laughs> you know? But I mean, do you only, you don't only do it for the money. You you love the thing. No, but there's things to about tour. touring that make it lucrative, like extreme meet and greet numbers. Yeah. Oh, or right. many shows back to back. There are compromises that we can make to improve yes. quality of life and uh, sacrifice a little bit we of do money. Half, we, we do half the meet and greets, yeah. do half the shows yeah. and just go home with a little money. Yeah. I go through hell touring. I go through <laughs> hell touring. I just think I want to turn over a new leaf. Turn a new leaf. Write another page. I feel like it's one of those phrases people say wrong Stupid. a lot. Stupid. I, I want to, I'm turning over a new leaf. I, I hate that expression. Well, I learned what it's about. What is it about? It's paper. Okay. They call leaf like a piece of sheet of paper. Oh. Turning a new leaf. Oh yeah. New it's chapter. not a leaf. 
Oh, okay. Because that was confusing. Heidi in Closet was like, she was like, why do people say that? It's the same leaf. And I was like, bitch, you are right. But it's oh, not leaves. It's not it's leaves. It's paper. It's, le- it's a metaphor. 2023 though. Cryogenically frozen all year. I'm just ready to shift. You know, when you shift up a car. Yes. And <laughs> there's that moment where it goes like this. Uh-huh. But the engine's not running as hard as it was in gear one. Okay. So I'm ready to like maintain speed and do a lot of things. Okay. But we're cutting the fat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're putting the foot down on how many times in drag per week. Oh, girl. How many times? <sighs> I want to keep performing with you. What's your What's your um, ideal schedule on tour? Let's say. I mean, okay. it's tough though because if we're on a bus or on a plane, those are two very different scenarios, as we've learned. Seven shows in a two week period. One week it's three, the next week it's four, and it's on and off. Okay. Great. So maybe it's a. Thursday, Friday, Sunday that week. And we okay. head off Monday, Tuesday. Friday, like, oh, I like that. I and like then the next that. week, maybe we pick it up and we add a show. So it's four. So okay. it's like one, two, one, two. Or like, Three a week is not sustainable. Or we build it or we can create a show that we just fly out on weekends. I was going to say like, it could, doesn't have to be the big grand scale, you know, it doesn't fly have to be weekends. 25 people. Yeah. I just, the, the number of dates, you know, a few years ago when I did moving parts, I think I did 60 Grown up was I only did like forty, I think. Forty. Yeah, forty. We we can we can go down. We can go down to twelve. We can go down to a dozen, fifteen. Yeah. yeah. Fifteen. I mean, dates. it works smarter, not harder. I mean, I don't here's the thing though. I I like the um the size of the theater. I like a more intimate size. I'm not loving arenas because we're not Beyonce. Yeah, but remember the other night we had a great term time in well, that's because it was the first time in my life I did not sweat a drop on stage. And I was I was wondering, have I been raptured to heaven? Girl, have is God here with his dick up my ass saying, I love your home. Well, well <laughs> Wellington, the air conditioning. To be fair, it was, it was winter, snapping ACLs. I mean, to be fair, it was winter in the gig. It was like doing an outside gig in winter. It was unbelievable. It was so it was unbelievable. It was I've never been so happy. Sexual. I finished the show smiling. I was like, yeah, it was, it was but people fierce. don't understand it's the distraction. Yeah. When my lower back becomes a water feature, yeah. a babbling brook, yeah. then I'm trying to conduct the show yeah. and not think about trickle, 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 trickle. <laughs> right. Trickle, 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 trickle. And I know if I'm sweating, Mama, you're doing um, go shit. If you have like if you if you dripple, dripple, dropple, I have the Titanic. You're d- Samuel L. Jackson in Deep Blue Sea. The Titanic. Yeah. yeah. I'm Jennifer Lopez in Anaconda. I, yeah. yeah. Remember that scene where they trick that guy to get, he's a beetle flies his, his throat and they slit his throat and put a tube in there to save him. Cause there's a bug in there caught in his throat. What? Is that the easiest way to get a bug out of your throat? When someone gets something stuck in their throat, you slit their throat inside a straw and so they can breathe. I saw it on YouTube. <laughs> I saw it somewhere. I saw it somewhere. I just feel like that maybe is not the best thing. <laughs> well, well, he was choking, so we slit his throat. <laughs> Hi, it's me, somebody who overworks. I got to tell you this. There is a lot of pressure to put fun off in your life until you like deserve it. Creating little like self-appointed, I'll do this fun thing only if I do these not fun things. And... You already do enough every single day to enjoy a little bit of enjoyment whenever you want it. So you've already earned some fun. So let's have it. It's like giving yourself permission to eat dessert first, honey. With Best Fiends, an exciting puzzle adventure game, you can have fiendish fun anywhere, everywhere. I like to play. This is my favorite thing to play when I'm like on a train, on a plane, on a takeoff at an airport, when I'm in another country where I don't even necessarily have Wi-Fi service because there's offline play so I can pretty much play anywhere. Add some joy to your daily routine with Best Fiends, the puzzle adventure game you won't be able to put down. It's easy to pick up and just play a couple levels at a time. I love video games when I'm on tour, etc., and it's a lot of stop and start between meet and greet after the show. I love having something I can pick up and just play for short bursts. It's not a game that's going to dominate my life. It's something I can just sprinkle in during the day. Best Fiends is a free-to-download mobile puzzle game with thousands of exciting levels for new adventures and challenges every time you play. There are dozens of unique fiends to collect so you can customize your team of fiends to defeat menacing slugs. Power up your favorite fiends to new levels for even more powerful skills and watch them transform as they get stronger, baby. Yeah. Brand new events and challenges pop up all year round, so you always have a chance to get exclusive in-game items, characters, and rewards. You've earned your fun time, okay? Go to the App Store or Google Play to download Best Fiends for free. 
Plus, earn even more with $5 worth of in-game rewards when you reach level 5. That's friends without the R. Best fiends. Do you know why free trials renew without your consent? It's a business scam out to get you. Don't let greedy corporations pocket your money. Download Truebill to take control of your subscriptions. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. On average, people save up to $720 a year with Truebill. Because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel, Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. Listen, I'm not ashamed to admit that I have a lot of, let's just call them porn subscriptions that, you know, um, maybe one night I was feeling some type of way and um, they just keep collecting my $30 a month or whatever. And uh, Truebill helped me save a fortune on unwanted porn subscription canceling. Isn't that great? It's a Christmas miracle. Truebill has over 2 million users and helps save them over $100 million. Just like Matthew B says, in a matter of seconds, I saved $660 for the year on my direct TV bill, saved 120 for the year on my Sirius XM bill, saved 840 a year on car insurance. That's wonderful. So don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at truebill.com slash bald. Go right now, truebill.com slash bald. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash bald. So, so when are you getting your pussy? Um, I think um, I'm going to wait till I'm 50, God willing. And then I'm going to be the only transsexual. Um, the other day, you... Small business? We, huge business. Everybody's <laughs> business. We were at meet and greet and between people, between <laughs> people... Between people at the meet and greet, she leans over and goes, sometimes I feel like I have a pussy. And then, hi, right to the next person. I was like, it's true. Sometimes I feel that, that little, um, that little tickle, that feminine squiggle. Yeah. That feminine squiggle, that little, um, that little, that little light inside that goes, hello. Speaking of feminine squiggles, these animals are just jumping around. Um, are we in this They hear a sound like that and then I see a tree moving and I know it's an animal. Yes. Jurassic um, Park. We had a lot of celebrity visitors on our tour. Vanity came to the show. Yes, Vanity came to the show. Wait, what other oh, celebrity? Vanity. Yeah. Oh, oh. BBL. Love girl. BBL. Oh, body snatch. Girl. Body snatched. I forget where we were, but Vanity was there and she was in drag. Maybe it was Sydney. Second night. Sydney, yeah. At your show, the, the DJ gig. Oh, it was. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Drunk. Well, yeah. I mean, if no, anybody. Me. Oh. And her. <laughs> together. Dead I had a drug. DJ gig. I had two gig. I did a, di a gig. I did a gig at a college and then we did a solid pink disco show that was so fun. What's that? That was the second gig I did. Oh, I was there. Yes, I was there. It was yeah. so fun. That was great. The guy falling off the table. Girl. Highlight of the tour for me. Highlight he of went the tour. straight down. He was, boom, 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 boom. bam. Yeah. He ate shit. It was fierce. Vanity and I, blackout drunk in a VIP, screaming in each other's faces, drunk about, about how much we love each other. <gasps> oh, that's great. It was like, oh, I, I love, love you. you. Oh, no, no, no. Just, it was, that's great. I, I just, she is, Everything I asked, she is really something else. I asked people there because I'm like, is she a big deal here? And she they're is. like, yeah, she is. They're like, yeah, they're like, but she's semi retired. So when she performs, it's a big deal. Yeah. Like people take notes. She's a legend there. Icon. Yeah. It makes Courtney Addict look like a dog. Look, look, the mailman. Looks Vanity like um, so unbelievably beautiful. Yeah. She's gorgeous. And makeup she? up close is fucking crazy. Yeah. You see her backstage dressed as She Ra? I didn't. I was like, she looks so good. I saw the video. It's unbelievable. Yeah. I love her. Her blush. She wears blush like it's her last day on earth. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like she wears blush like she's getting paid to wear blush. I mean, it's so wonderful. Big well, rosy red cheeks. In Sydney, same gig, Melissa Edwards came backstage. <gasps> oh, that's right. Melissa, Melissa was there. Edwards. Just levels, layers, lanes. Levels, layers, and lanes. That's what I was, that's the takeaway from that. She She's loved so the funny. show. She, and you know, I got the ultimate compliment from her, which was like our show. She was like, I got to go do more on my show. <laughs> right. When a drag queen thinks right. after yeah. seeing you, they have to go home and improve their gig. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially a dancer. She was like, you guys were dancing a lot. <laughs> and I was like, well, she aren't you? I mean, no, she doesn't. She does like a, 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 and a, like, you know what I mean? A point and walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, if, I, if I could dance like her, I would dance. And maybe that's just the privilege of, I think you would for the first couple of weeks, then you'd be like, mama. That's it's hang like it if up. I could do the splits, I'd be doing it all the time. I don't think you would though. Well, look what happens. Yeah, hip hip replacement. But like surgery. if I could, do, I just saw a video of Laganja on the second floor of a club that I sent you that on Instagram. Oh, uh, the pussy. Uh, the, what would she call it? Um, the it was like a pussy something. She jumped off the second level of a club and hit the floor. Pussy, pussy 
clam. That he gets a ganja. What is it? 110 pounds. No pads. No pads. No bare skin. Pads. She is so wild for that. On her knees, all her joints. I just don't know how she does it. And she I don't, don't know either. Drink. It's so crazy. It's so crazy. The the pussy slam slam five. It was so. That was not. That was high up. That Very was high, high up. up. Oh, Have you ever seen the video of that girl? Uh, it's that drag queen lip syncing and she gets on that tour bus and climbs up and she's, it's one of those LA double decker buses. Oh, sure, sure, sure. And, and then, then she, she jumps off, off the bus. Yeah. She hangs off and jumps off. See if I could do these things, but then I guess you set a precedent. That's what, what you I'm experience. saying. You don't do that. Kennedy too. You give, oh, she, Kennedy especially. Kennedy was like, I, I will like doing ballads and stuff, but I feel like I'm not allowed. You're not. Cause you're not. They want the dancing diva, the 10 dancing toes. We gotta you know? have her on the pod. Sure. I'd be like this food nasty. Every time on tour we get food we don't want in a Kennedy Davenport voice, this food nasty. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, we get her on the pod. I'm so happy to be back. Girl, to be in my so house happy. watching. I played, I played. <laughs> <laughs> I played on my PlayStation uh -huh. and I ate weed <laughs> and I ate Taco Bell. It was so fucking good. Yeah. Cheesy bur bean burritos. Juicy bean burritos. Cheesy bean burritos. Cheese quesadilla. Nachos and chips. Nachos and chips. When you hit that crunch. That crunch. Baby, baby. when you hit that crunch. <laughs> that little chip. <laughs> Bitch. I love Taco Bell. Okay, I got to get into it. I got to get into it. If you're going to- Do I they mean, make tacos without cheese? Because I'm like the cheese. Yeah, they do. I love Chipotle. I love, I mean, I love Chipotle, Qdoba, Taco yeah, Bell. Sure. Anything like- Americanized Mex Mexi Mexi yes. yeah, yeah 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 Taco Bell and I don't want to go down I don't want to take down my my own people because Taco Bell is my is my people who are your people exactly well Chipotle is delicious eat fresh right it's like you can actually get a healthy meal at Taco Absolutely. Bell is you are eating you're eating poo poo and pee pee and it's sickening okay. oh it's, it's sickening. the McDonald's of, of Mexican food right it's love just it. fast nasty I love food it. Good. do Mexican people like I've heard Mexican people very critical of any sort of Americanized Mexican food. Right. Does Taco Bell count? I don't think people Taco who grew Bell up eating ever, Mexican food. Do I they like Taco Bell? I think it's just junk food. Okay. It's fast food. It's like if I grew up eating potatoes, I'm from Ireland. Um, and then I go eat French fries. I don't think about authenticity. Well, if you grew up because your family, your mom, whatever, cooks you authentic Mexican meals. Yeah. You obviously have more of a developed palate. Of course. So you go to Taco Bell and you're like, this is boo-boo. Or you like work bitch. I think you're work I think you're saying work bitch because you're not pretending for it to be fine, um, stunning you know what cuisine. Time it is. Yeah. Okay. You're in the alley on your hands and knees. Yeah. You're in the alley uh, truffle hunting with that nasty pig nose. <laughs> you're not like, where's all the fine china? You're in an alley. There's dirt on your knees. Truffle butter? Truffle, no, truffle. What about truffle butter? Do you know what that is? I don't I think it's poop. I don't know. It's it's poop poop grease. What is truffle butter? That sounds disgusting. I think it's when you're doing anal and like lube and spit mixes with no, poop pieces. That's no, what no, I think no, it no, is. No, 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 no. But I don't know. I have a question for you, food wise. Why does all fancy food taste like shit? Girl, on these airplanes? Duck confit parfait. Mary, do you want we're a, in the air? Do you want whipped cream that's a duck liver? Dick duck liver whipped cream. Oh, this just made me throw it. Like, give me a chill. Just give me like a chill. Why does it have to be all this nasty food? That this is elevated, beautiful, gorgeous, lovely cuisine. I say it tastes like shit. It looks like hell, and it costs too much. And I don't want to be difficult, but when there's vegetarian options, nothing. Why is it always falafel? Or it's falafel, or would it? They didn't have any on the plane for you. No, they just said no. You you have to choose it ahead of time. And I said, well, somebody should have. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll just starve to death. It happened every day. Yeah, it sure did. Yeah. I mean, I think in America, they might have more vegetarian options on planes. I don't know. I don't know. I'll eat anything on a plane though. Once you're up there, what's my other option? Where am I going? Not McDonald's? Eating. My little bag of snacks, sunflower seeds. But if I'm on like an international flight and there's no vegetarian mm -hmm. option, I'm probably just gonna get the chicken okay. and just do it. Yeah. I, I, I feel very weird eating chicken. You do? Why? Did, were you fucked by a chicken in, when you were growing up? <laughs> well, my mom's a chicken. I like, so, yeah. no, just eating meat of any kind. You know, I have to be drunk where I'm like, whatever. Is it a moral thing or is it a health thing or is it both? It started moral and now it's just, I feel like I'm chewing on dead body. Oh, well, that's totally fair because you are. And it just grossed me out a little bit. It's not yeah. necessarily, now I think I know enough that I'm like, well, if one person's vegan or vegetarian, it doesn't have enough of an impact to save the planet or help animals. But it's not about impact. You're not like, but there's originally no it was. I was okay. like trying to take a stance on like, I don't want to kill animals. Well, then you don't, good. 
then that should be personally fulfilling. And then but it's sort of like recycling when you find out that most of the waste comes from big businesses. <sighs> now, what is recycling? Well, like, is that by the, me that... taking my recycling out mm -hmm. is wonderful, but it ain't shit if these big businesses are still yeah. making mega. Yeah. They're sending then I'm just toxic sludge right into the ocean. I'm just doing it for myself. Yeah. Recycling for myself. Really. Yeah. Now, if hundreds of thousands of millions of people recycle, of course there's a difference. Sure. But that's never going to happen. But they should. I had a roommate who didn't recycle. Mm -hmm. You killed him. No, I just was like, what are we doing? Yeah. What are you doing? Not recycling. Throwing away trash. But you know how many items are plastic or cardboard? Do you Most also like taking the trash out constantly? If you recycle, oh, you right, have a trash right, right. bin that feels slower. Sure, sure, sure. Who doesn't like recycle? People who don't recycle, I would say. Well, I also, I feel like sometimes they just take that recycling and then throw it in the dump. Well, I also understand that in some cities, they let you do commingled recycle, commingled. which is everything. Oh. Paper, plastic. Okay. In some cities, they make you separate it. And for some yeah. people, maybe it's too much work. But just recycle. I mean, if they're going to pick it up, I think you can, yeah. I eat all my trash. I put it on a little, like, you know, cupboards. I you put eat in my trash? Cupboard. Yeah, I eat my trash. I don't recycle. I don't throw anything away. Do you notice when makeup companies do, like, a paper lipstick tube? Do I notice that? Do you care if like, I mean, it feels intuitively, it feels like, oh, this is much better when it's pick oh, recycled material. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rather than all oh, this plastic, you know, like the, the, the giant uh, phone charger uh, converter things. I couldn't even get that plastic thing open. I know. It's crazy. All that plastic. I'm torn. Cause I love, I mean, like for our lipstick component, for example, I love plastic. I love the way it looks. Sure. But plastic is all petroleum. And petroleum is from the earth. It's the same reason the price of Barbies is always going up to make dolls, plastic, brand new dolls, mm. oil, cast of oil. Now, why don't you do like um, a little uh, socks with leaves of them for these dolls? Instead of blush, <laughs> just socks with no, leaves. Bar Barbies, you know, maybe rather than a plastic Barbie, they can do just like a sock mold with um, a corn husk doll. Exactly. Something why are we warm. doing more corn husk dolls? Let's have that conversation. Well, what are you going to do while you're home? What's the off day, the off vibes? I got to go buy a car. Oh, fierce. I was supposed to do it this morning, but I was, I got in my head that I wanted to get a Range Rover. And then I'm like, what are you doing? No, I don't want to get a this Range is the Rover. Problem. It's going to take forever. It's going to take hours. Yeah. You have to sign all this paperwork. I know. You have to get your loan approved. I know. Or you're just going to buy it. I'm just going to buy it in cash. Yeah. Then yeah. that's great. Um, but buying a car takes forever. I, I don't know. even like going to the Apple store because I'm like, can we get this let's, moving? Yeah, let, yeah. 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 I know. I know. If I have to wait to five minutes in line, I'll just go home. Any of the fancy Gucci, Versace, anything like that. They're like, can I get you a water? I'm like, why? I'm trying to get in and out of yeah, here. Why? I'm not, I don't want to put down roots here. <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah. Can I embroider a bath robe for you? Well, I think they want you to browse. So they're like, let me look in the back. And I'm like, I bet you they found it and then sat around. Oh, really? Because they want you to buy more stuff. Yeah. They're probably just jerking off back there. Well, anyway, so I think I'm going to get like a Toyota or like a Honda or something like that. Get a Civic. Those are the 300,000 mile cars. Those are people's cars. They have 10 years. Yeah. Or well, I'm going to get an SUV. Hybrid. But a Prius Hybrid. is sickening. I don't believe that. That's not, not to me. A Prius is ugly. Ugly boots to me. Ugly boots. It's so reliable. So much space inside. Cheap. Uh, not that cheap though. They're going up to 40 grand. Wow. Yeah. Get a Tesla. I think I'm just going to get a Lamborghini. Do you, know, do you know Manny MUA? Yeah. I got in his car once. What is it? What kind of car? I'm not even Bentley? a boy enough to know. Oh, really? The doors did this. Are you serious? And it yeah. wasn't and a we Tesla. We were like laying down on the ground, street level. It so was he like drives a Batmobile. sports car. A it was sports like a car. Was it a Lambo? Probably. Or Ferrari, maybe. The more you say names, the more I know. Lamborghini, don't know. Ferrari. Um, but I was so I impressed. I was like, this is amazing. Impressed by what? Just like the thought of it. Did it go fast? Did My he last car was a station? smart car and I got it used. I've never owned a car ever. Never. Why do you have a license? Because I love to show it. To, no, I mean, I have a license because I can drive other people's cars. Do they know? <laughs> <laughs> I should probably let you know I am the carjacker. <laughs> You're like, why would I have a... No, like my mom's car growing up or my, you know, whatever. If somebody get, dies in the car accident, but I survive, I can drive the car. Well, there's always cars parked on the street. Just take one of those. Well, I know. Take I a just, penny, leave a penny. Yeah. I got to grow my nails out so I can really snap, you know, get into the window. There's a fierce moment in the office where um, Aaron's like, let's go. And he's like, and then Andy's like, well, don't you need to pack or anything? Your toothbrush? She's like, I don't have a toothbrush. He's like, what do you mean you don't have a toothbrush? She's like, there's always one around. <laughs> It's true though. Not a bad point. It's true though. At the Perth Hotel. Would you share a toothbrush with your partner? Yes, 
I would. You would? Yes. I'd also, the person whose um, asshole, whose rectum I tongue out on the regular, I believe I would have no problem with that. Think about it. I tongue his shitter. I put my tongue in his asshole, but I draw the line at sharing a toothbrush. I don't get it. What's the problem there? Do you know what I mean? I don't understand. No, I know what you mean. I still can't get through it. I still can't like, do you, it. You think it's what? It's a, it's a gross, hygienic, um, nasty thing. <laughs> my toxic trait is that I love buying things in case someone stays over. Packs of toothbrushes. That's not a toxic trait. That's a wonderful thing. I never thing. let anyone stay over. So I don't know what I'm prepping for. The, 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 the grudge when some, no, the purge when yes. someone comes to my house and yeah, recently we watched the purge. Did you like it? Loved it. You did. Loved it. Hot, okay. I loved it. <laughs> Let me just say it. I'll say it. Love it. I loved it. <laughs> you did. I love the purge. Is that Ethan Hawk? Yeah. Now what would you do? Would purge? you do something crazy or would you just be in the hidey hole? Would you batten down the hatches? I wouldn't and be do in the anything crazy. No. I don't want to kill anyone. Right. But I would, do I think that people would? Yes. You know what I would do? I would go outside naked. And I would show my pussy in my asshole <sighs> to the inlet is feel the moonlight on it. And <laughs> <laughs> I think that people would do things like looting. I don't think they would do as much violence to each other. Maybe that's me being naive. It could be you being naive because I think people would take a lot of drugs and get drunk. Oh, right. But I don't think there'd be as many like calculated murders as much as it'd be like Best Buy overrun. Yeah, I agree. Do you, do you remember? Yeah. Although Nancy Pelosi better watch your back if we ever do the purge. She's old too. You could take her. Yeah. I'll take her that, right to that bicep, yeah. that head. I'll take right. her right to the, right, take her right to I Paris. Might, I, I would, well, guess who has all the guns? Conservatives. Yeah. So the purge would be bad for me. I know. I wish we could do the, like, do like a magic trick and all the guns um, turn into like. Thanos. Italian ice. Yeah. Or like popsicles or something, you know? Gelato. Del a foie gras. Delicious duck confit parfaits. It'd be real, should we, it'd should be we real wrap mad. it up? Let's wrap it up. Girl, it's a pod. That's all I have to say about that. I will say I've really enjoyed doing this pod recently. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's a <gasps> worthwhile endeavor. The book is done and the sub stack is done. Evil. Writing is over. Die. Yeah. Writing? No, writing is tired. Living remember, wired. Yeah, I remember people would be like, well, you teach a child to read, you give them the opportunity to the, for the world. I said- No, you don't. No. Give them an iPad. When you teach a child, when you make a child write, you seal their death certificate. And we're the children in that we're scenario. We're the children, yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, bye. Thank you guys so much. Goodbye. Goodbye.